high. The number of anime games is increasing every year. Various studios constantly release new projects with their own fantasy worlds, heroes, and storylines. However, these games differ from classic MMORPGs mainly in their distinctive, vibrant graphics. Otherwise, they offer almost the same content different classes, an interesting leveling system, raids, dungeons, daily activities, and massive battles. In this video, I will talk about the most interesting MMORPG games in the anime style. Let's start with Twin Saga. This is an excellent example of a good anime MMORPG with a plethora of mechanics. It features numerous classes, a mobile house, a multifunctional character editor, and pleasant graphics. In addition to combat, you can engage in peaceful activities such as fishing, world exploration, profession leveling, or home decoration. As for PvP content, it offers three modes, 3v3 player battles, objective control, and battles with specific classes. The rest of the time, you'll be completing quests, farming resources, visiting dungeons, and participating in raids. Tree of Savior This project comes from the creator of the well-known Ragnarok Online. There are many similarities. The storyline, style, and graphics immediately remind you of its predecessor. However, the game can't be called a clone. It has a different story, combat has changed to a non-target system, and character progression only vaguely resembles Ragnarok. Still, it retains all the main features. Pleasant graphics, numerous class variations, and an interesting lore. The game is available for free, and if you decide to give it a try, I recommend playing on North American servers, where there are still players. Nose Tale. It's a typical Korean free-to-play MMORPG, but with a certain charm that has kept people playing it since 2009. Most activities are borrowed from other games in the genre, but it has its own unique features. For example, unusual professions and their development, as well as the ability to get married, with couples enjoying various benefits such as instant teleportation to each other, shared resources, and double experience. Another highlight is the transformation into a new form using specialized specialist cards. In simpler terms, you can gain an additional class besides your main one. Player battles in the game are represented as arenas, guild wars, and occasional special events. Blade and Soul Another Korean MMORPG with decent graphics where you are invited to join either the side of good or evil and help your faction achieve its goals. Both sides of the conflict have different methods of problem solving, but the gameplay is identical. The game's distinctive feature is its combat system. All characters have devastating skills and talents that lead to special combo attacks. In addition, the game offers standard content such as raids, dungeons, world bosses, guild wars, and daily quests. You can transform your hero with various equipment, and you can choose your clothing purely based on your taste, as there are no stat bonuses. Bonuses come only from weapons and accessories. Aura Kingdom, a very vibrant and enjoyable free MMORPG. In addition to its visually pleasing graphics, the game offers a wide selection of classes and pets, each with its own abilities, as well as interesting dungeons and raids. Player battles are available only in special arenas. Duels are accessible even for beginners, but 5v5 and 50v50 battles open up only in endgame content. Overall, those who prefer battles with other players may not be captivated for long, but there are plenty of opportunities to relax and have fun, immersing yourself in the anime world's atmosphere. Temtem. This is an adventure MMORPG based on the concept of the Pokemon series. Here, you'll train your own creatures, called Temtem, which possess magical abilities. Players can interact, complete tasks, or challenge each other to see whose Temtem is stronger. As you progress, you can find new and diverse Temtem and assemble a whole team. It's worth noting that the game has a very pleasant atmosphere with bright graphics, cute monsters, and a variety of characters. Royal Quest. In this game, there's a vast open world, and monsters roam everywhere, attacking anything that moves and even potentially stealing your loot. The first thing that catches the eye is the unusual combination of technology, magic, and alchemy. 
Our task is to master a preferred specialization and resist the Black Alchemists. Otherwise, the enemies will manage to capture and then destroy the world. In all other respects, it's pretty much business as usual. Several classes, gradual progression, dungeons, settling disputes and duels and guild battles. All of this is wrapped in a fairly attractive, albeit not entirely original, package. Closers. What will you do when hordes of terrible interdimensional invaders come through portals and invade your city? Correct, you'll hire closers, an elite group of teenagers with psychic abilities and a passion for destroying invaders. In this free MMORPG, you get to play as one of these school kids and join other superheroes in thwarting the alien invaders. Overall, the game can be a real find for fans of the anime style. The game isn't too time-consuming, features lively gameplay with interesting aerial combat, a variety of classes, fairly fast dungeons, and minimal interaction with other players. There are also plenty of free bonuses and various events. Fantasy Star Online 2, an MMORPG from Sega where you'll travel through multiple worlds, cleansing them of dark creatures. The game stands out with its unique universe that includes elves, high technology, and a combat system unlike the genre's typical systems, more like what you'd find in classic action slashers. The game offers four races and several unique classes, and you can earn everything valuable, including cosmetic items, through grinding. The game is available for free, but if you want to expand your list of cosmetic items, there are paid expansions in the store. Final Fantasy Online, a massively multiplayer role-playing game with an ever-expanding fantasy world with each new expansion. The game delights with an engaging storyline that can't be rushed through in a couple of days and forgotten, numerous references to various popular anime, a friendly community, and an enormous amount of diverse content. The combat system is target-based, and the extensive selection of unique classes allows you to create a character that meets all your requirements, aided by a well-developed character editor. It's worth noting that the game has a free version with enough content for 300 or even 400 hours of gameplay. Swords of Legends Online, a fresh Chinese MMORPG based on the Legend of the Ancient Sword mythos. It has everything a good project in this genre should have open player battles, a variety of classes, a non-target combat system with plenty of impressive skills, and diverse dungeons. It also boasts colorful graphics and the absence of intrusive pay-to-win elements, with cosmetic items being the primary focus. However, it's important to note that the game is not free. It requires a purchase. Astelia a free multiplayer RPG, the key feature of which is right in its name. Here, you'll collect and develop combat pets called Estelles. Each of them brings certain benefits to the battlefield, with some protecting their owner, others healing allies, and some attacking enemies. Combining the gameplay of classic MMORPGs and the pet collection mechanic, Astelia offers an impressive variety of possibilities, from exploring the world and completing quests to participating in massive player battles, dungeon crawling, and character progression. Soul Worker. In this game, you'll be tasked with slaying hordes of mobs, clearing dungeons, and facing various bosses. Forget about an open world. You'll explore small locations, team up with friends for common goals, explore cities, and focus on character development. To defeat the monster hordes, you'll rely not only on your combat comrades but also on various weapons, machine guns, scythes, blasters, and even guitars. It's worth mentioning two difficulty levels. The first will appeal to newcomers. It's straightforward. You run forward and crush enemies. The second level rewards you with prizes but requires cleverness to find your way out of mazes or defeat dangerous bosses. Additionally, by completing story missions, you can influence the course of the narrative. And when you get tired of battling, you can buy a house and engage in decorating it. Bless Unleashed is a free-to-play fantasy MMORPG developed on the Unreal Engine 4. Originally designed exclusively for consoles, it later gained significant popularity, prompting the developers to bring it to PC as well. 
In this game, players can expect hardcore challenges, unique combo mechanics that involve evasions, advanced customization options, various PvP modes with a competitive edge, and cooperative PvE missions. Players will also enjoy a vast open world that includes numerous diverse creatures and dungeons. The story of the character's development depends on the decisions made during gameplay. In the game, you can upgrade weapons, improve skills, join guilds with other players, and collaborate to complete story quests. That's all, thank you for watching, the Image Game Channel was with you, have a good day.